Hey, welcome CNC fans to Apox Hot Seat. I'm here with a special guest host. You know him. He's your favorite bald <laughs> badass, Mr. Joe Kane Cook. Everybody clap your hand. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hot seat, really? That's what yeah, we're calling this? Yeah. Hot seat? Are you feeling red hot Excellent. over there? Excellent. I am so nervous looking, and a, I'm a scared. I'm actually a scared. Safe comment here. You're looking red hot, you know? I am a, good. I am a good looking man. Yeah, yeah. There's you really, are. you can't argue with that. So what are you doing the here The luck of nature. The luck of nature? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if I'm allowed to say <laughs> what I'm doing here today. That's true. Well, we don't know when this interview might air, but... Uh, oh, well then I can announce it. I am yeah. the new CEO of Electronic Arts. Freaking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, That's I, fantastic. I, I How do you came, feel about that? Well, you're fired. But other than that, <laughs> <laughs> I've come down to look around, see what works, see what doesn't. You know, that's what I'm doing down here. So what's working for you right now? What are we doing? Uh, what am I doing? Well, this doing looks, anything? this is nice. I'm going to see more more decor like this around the office space, I think. <laughs> I've got about that's 100 gonna of them be around nice. my cube, so. Well, because they sold like, like hotcakes. Well, yeah, little king, what do you think? Oh, 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 all right. right, so Joe. Yeah. The hot seat. Yeah, yeah, hot seat. Oh, the hot seat. Yeah. The hot seat. Oh, hot now, seat. what I've got here, I've got a set of questions. Uh huh. These are questions that you've never heard. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's ever asked you these before, I'm sure. Uh huh. I'm going to fire these off at you and we're going to okay. see what happens. Okay, here's here, the okay? thing. If, if, if you ask me anything about being like tied up to tubes when I was in Cabal staying, I've been asked that a million times. If you ask me like what kind of tree I ever want to be, <laughs> if I was a tree, what kind of tree would I be? If, if I was a hot dog, would I eat myself? like that those are all questions I've heard before so nothing yeah. like that and we'll be cool okay all right cool I definitely am not gonna ask you any of those questions <laughs> okay. I promise I took a so, shot first question yeah yeah uh, you definitely haven't heard this one before yeah yeah what was it like being stuck in Cabal's tubes for so long? <laughs> really that's how we're gonna you can yeah. start with that one I'm kicking it off it was it was very nice it was like a nice marinade you know because we shot that uh, uh, when we shot that particular scene, um, for the other, you know, the, we had other actors that were, were filmed in there, uh -huh. and we had them actually. We filled it up with with distilled water so they could be comfortable. But when I went in and did it for myself, I actually filled it up with with vinegar, so it really tingled my skin. Yeah, it really tingled my skin, and I was pickled for like three weeks afterwards, man. I pickled. just yeah, I wow. smelled like vinegar the whole. I call it smell a little bit like vinegar. Now. Give me a good sniff. Come on, sniff it up. A little bit of vinegar. Yeah, yeah, See? yeah. So yeah. the, the I mean, effects. Even your even your bobblehead has a little bit of vinegar smell to it. The effects were lasting. It was fun doing the doing that. Uh, actually, the the two actors that the other two actors that did the floating bodies in the in the tubes were a little freaked out by it. The girl especially, I think, had some trouble. Well, they were your clones. Uh, yeah, mm. I don't know if they were meant to be clones. They were meant to be sort of the notion that um, Cabal was powered by this bio energy, and mm -hmm. it was just people, a bunch of different made people. of vinegar. Made of vinegar. <laughs> and, but it was fun. I had a good time bouncing around in there. Awesome. It was fun. Yeah. All right, next question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What hot seat. Oh, it's the hot seat. <laughs> you feeling good? You feeling uh, good? You I'm, ready? I'm in the hot seat. Question two. Yeah. One, All two, right. Two. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? The first thing. All right. No thinking. All right. When I say GDI. Waffles. <laughs> waffles. Right. Waffles. Okay, cool. Waffles it is. Yeah. GDI waffles. You heard it from Kane right yeah. there. Yeah, because I'm a little hungry for Now, if I say waffles. it again, GDI. Okay. Ready? GDI. Oh, I'm supposed to do something? I What's think the first thing saying. you think of again, GDI? Waffles. Wow, that's amazing. I got waffles on You're the brain. You're craving waffles. Okay, I'm just a little hungry. All right. You want me to do like the third or the second or third no, thing? No, I no, think no, I, I, think, I think waffles twice is enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Waffles. Yeah, make sure you have some waffles at the Ritz. <laughs> I'm a right? little hungry. <laughs> so uh, what, what's yeah. a day in the life of Joe Gookin like? That's a simple question. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I, I first I roll over to my right side mm. and I push the blonde out of the bed and then I Roll over to my left side and I push the brunette out of the bed. <laughs> and then I sit up and I stretch and I push the redhead off the foot of the wow. bed. Yeah, that's how, how I, when you go that's how I begin that's how I begin my day. You go backwards. When I go backwards the Siamese twins. They gotta, <laughs> they gotta go. Uh, so that's that's how I that's how I, I start my day. And then I like a nice big plate full of waffles. <laughs> to, of course. To, to of course. break my fast. Exactly. And uh, yeah, yeah, then uh, then, then then gosh, what do I do? I have been spending a lot of time just lately with, I got a new dog. You got a new dog? I got a dog. That's yeah, fantastic. So I, what kind of dog? I got a new dog. I got an Australian Shepherd named Maggie. Hi, Maggie. <laughs> Hi, baby. Get off the couch, you dirty bitch. No, I can say dirty bitch because she's a dog. She Get is. off the couch. That's my good girl. That's my good girl. Who's my good girl, Maggie? I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm that dog owner who she talks must like really that to my you. dog. My dog loves me, and I love my dog. So I got a new dog, so I've been training her. That's how I've been spending my days. I've been training my dog, uh, you know, to, to 
kill people in authority. Because you do have uh, a lot of fans that. Yeah, try she's and, my security dog. You know, as I get lots of invaders. And, as I get stalked by more and more fans, yes. my dog is going to get more and more yeah. vicious. I prefer so. to keep it online. <laughs> yeah. You heard that, yeah. CNC fans. Watch out for Maggie. Yeah, the online stalking is fine, but Maggie's a vicious bitch. <laughs> Well, what about in the evening? What, what happens in the life of Joe Kukin as the, uh, the sun sets? <laughs> well, as everyone knows, I, I live in Las Vegas. Uh, so there's not, there's not a lot to do after the sun goes down in no, Vegas. Definitely so not in Vegas. No, around 9 o'clock, yeah. things start shutting down. You go to bed. Um, I watch a lot. I watch a lot of TV. Boy, that CSI is good, huh? CSI They've got a lot Vegas? of shows. Great CSI show. Vegas, CSI Florida, CSI Pacoma, CSI uh, Burlington, Vermont, CSI uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. They're going to have um, CSI waffles soon. <laughs> never know. Now I'm all hungry again. I know, Just when good. I got off waffles. Well, I'm maybe you're hungry, hungry for our next question. Oh, good. What's your favorite CNC game? Uh, Soul Survivor. Soul no Survivor? question about it. Soul Survivor. A brilliant, I mean, the vision that it took to create a game like Soul Survivor, I just, I can't imagine the sort of imagination that, uh, that went into developing that game. Because I had absolutely nothing to do with Soul Survivor. <laughs> nothing at all. So I just like only, you had nothing to do with Red Alert, of course. Uh, a little cameo there. I did some, no, I, I shot all the Red Alert sequences and, uh, and uh, did some I'm writing. i the story. I wrote it. <laughs> yeah, me, me and Ed Del Castillo wrote it over a, over a long afternoon. Yeah. You've had yeah. a long history with the CNC franchise. Yeah. Well, as long as there's been a CNC franchise, I've been involved. So some of the fans want to know, do yeah. you ever secretly post on the forums as someone else? No, I wouldn't know how to do that. I'm you kind wouldn't of, know how to do that? Uh, I take it back. I probably could. Um, no, but I secretly read all the forums. <laughs> I do. No, I snoop around and I check out well, that's good. stuff. And, and when I'm feeling particularly, you know, Lonesome. I go in and I, I do the e, the uh, ego surfing and I, I Google the, especially when the games come out. I'm I'm, I'm really tickled at how instant uh, the reaction, the audience reaction is Absolutely. to a game. How instant it, they can post something, first impressions, second impressions, third impressions. So as soon as a game is released, um, for the first couple of weeks, usually first month or so, uh, I do. I get on and I look to see what people are saying, what the buzz is like, what well, with you, it's people always like. Good things. You know that. Not always good things. I, you know, no, there's some no, people no, out there who think I'm a troll. No, I, I get some, you know, I, I get some, and, and rightly so, I get, I, I get some criticism for being a jackass or for being a, a, a horrible actor or, or what well, have you. Well, that's why you're the villain in every game. <laughs> you know? Well, yeah, I so, shave my head. What's your favorite ice cream? Oh, yeah, mocha almond fudge. Mm, good choice. Yeah. And your favorite soda? Yeah, my favorite soda. Yes. Could only be one of two choices here. Yeah, no. I'm thinking. Yeah, there, no, there's only one. My favorite <laughs> soda is uh, is uh, uh, Coke uh, Coke Zero with uh, uh, wild cherry. The nice. wild cherry Coke Zero. It's the nice. best, man. Wild Sorry. cherry Coke Could've Zero. Found it. Found it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, my absolute. My favorite too. Yeah, really? Absolutely. Get out the vanilla. Like, I can't. I can't drink the vanilla. Tastes too much like a Jack and Coke. It's me, like drinking like kind of alcoholic syrup. It's, Kind of makes you feel sick. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. what is the seriously? Okay, seriously. What is Dr. Pepper vanilla Pepsi cherry? Have you seen this drink? It's a Dr. Pepper with like vanilla and wild cherry and like a splash of lemon and some ginseng or something. I mean, it's they're absurd. coming up with all kinds of wild and crazy stuff. But really. the doctor, the, leave the Dr. Pepper alone, man. The yeah. Dr. Pepper don't need the vanilla, don't need Dr. the Dr. Pepper is already cherry. like 10 sodas in Dr. One. Pepper is the prune juice soda. We all know it's made with prune juice. It said, I read it on the interwebs and so just leave the, leave the Dr. Pepper alone. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. All right. Well, you keep drinking your uh, Cherry Coke Zero there. I love the Cherry Coke Zero. I do too. The best. The best. What is your favorite movie? Okay, wait. Is this, movie? is this the next question? This is the next question. Okay, go ahead. Are you ready for the next yeah, question? Yeah, go ahead. You're getting through the hot seat pretty well here. <laughs> it's still kind of cool. It's going to get hotter with I'm these last... I'm not sweating. It's going to get hotter with these last few questions. Okay, Let me tell you. I'm ready. So what is your favorite R-rated movie? My favorite R-rated movie is a French... Uh, a French film <laughs> called Betty Blue. Betty Blue? Mm hmm Made in the 30s or 40s? No, Betty Blue was, was uh, I think Betty Blue was made in the, in the middle to late 80s, actually. And uh, uh, it's a, I, I know this isn't very interesting, but it's, no, a, hey, it's, it's a story about the, of, uh, the insanity of love, of, of how love is literally insane. It's that's a great precious. movie. Yeah, this is precious. precious. I, you know what? I knew. <laughs> you asked the question, man. I I'm just, you know, I'm just sitting here, minding my own I'm business. I'm giving you the comments too. <laughs> it's called banter. Oh, this is where the seat hots up. This is yeah. where the seat heats up. Yeah, you're blushing. Am I really? Yeah. 
I thought started I had... talking about love and you know. So I am a softy. We got a few more questions Is left here. On? I know you own a boat. I do. What's your favorite thing to do on a boat? <laughs> play, play Scrabble. My favorite thing to do on a boat is to play Scrabble. Play Scrabble? I'm pretty good at that game, I gotta say. Are you? What's your high score? You should invite me on your boat. For, for a good Scrabble game? Yeah, for a good Scrabble game. Your, what's your high score? I don't know, like 300 maybe? No, I find that hard to believe. Is that a high, high score? See, you've never played Scrabble in your life. I knew it. I, I knew played it. Scrabble. I knew you. I knew you were a lion sack. Oh, Scrabble's your favorite game. My favorite, I, I sail my boat. That's what I do. I sail. So you got to do sail. Thing doesn't mean it can't be my favorite game. Uh, you know, it, I know how to kinda, spell two and, and cat and dog. It kind of, it kind of does. It's like saying my favorite game is tennis. My whole and strategy. then you go out and you play, and it's you serve the ball, and you win a point. And you go, oh, that's one zero. It's not. It's really fifteen. So you. Yeah, I'm the guy that when when he wins one game, he says he's on a winning streak. <laughs> oh, uh, no, I, I, I do like Scrabble, but on my boat, no, I sail. I sail my boat. I, I, although lately I've been working on the motor, but I sail it. We get out and. Uh, and awesome. sail the seas, yeah, yeah. I lot Maggie went overboard the other day, middle oh, of the ocean. Well, you should be a little nicer to her, you know. It's, oh, it's, she Have was some heart, man. She was wearing her life preserver, and the boat went up, and she went up, and then the boat went down, and she didn't, and she went off in the middle of the ocean, and she had her life preserver on, and she's swimming. Poor we, Maggie. Yeah. Poor well, Maggie. I saved her. Well, you're not gonna like this next question. I uh, don't like it already. Well, you're really not gonna like it because uh, <laughs> since we just talked about Maggie. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, if you were a hot dog. Yeah. Would you eat yourself? <laughs> Dude, wasn't that one of the questions I said I've been asked a million times before? I, I, I can't help it. I have to ask you. I okay. couldn't help it. Okay, ask it's me your again. your fault. Ask me again. I, I, I answer it truthfully. If you were a giant hot dog, would you eat yourself? Yes. Why? That's not part of the question. There's no why there. Just would you eat yourself? Yes. Yes, I would. Well, I want some context. Uh, because I'm damn tasty. <laughs> Because I find my Nothing casing... Nothing get in the way on top of the head there either. <laughs> Smothered in mustard and sauerkraut. Sounds awesome Which is also how I sleep at night. <laughs> Smothered in mustard uh, and sauerkraut. With the brunette, the blonde, the Siamese twins, and the... <laughs> Redhead, yes indeed. So, final question here yeah. on the hot seat. Oh, then the seat cools down. Something that we're asking a lot of people these days. Yeah. It's a very popular question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In your opinion, yeah, yeah. who is your favorite female character slash actress in the CNC franchise? 14 years. My favorite character. See, there's a difference between character and actress. Well, let's start with You, you know that, right? I do. Okay. I do. Okay. <laughs> I do. Pick one, pick the other, or pick two. Uh, I think in terms of, uh, they're, they're probably the same. I think Tanya is a great character. Um, Who doesn't? Uh, from Red Alert 2. I think the Red Alert 2 Tanya was a lot of fun. Although, you know, the very first Red Alert, uh, we had two Tanyas. We had our voiceover Tanya, voiced by a woman named Lene. Freeborn, and we had our on-screen Tanya, who uh, was played by an actress named Lynn Latier, who was a Cirque performer. Oh, and, really? Uh, yeah, it was her first time on screen. Never knew that. Yeah, she was great. Great show, by the way. Uh, I don't know what happened to Lynn. She was great. But I, I think what Kari Wurr did with the role in, in uh, Red Alert 2 was, um, was pretty special. And, and Kari is a special actress. She's a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun working on that show. and. Uh, uh, I think she did a, a really good job in creating a memorable character. I think it's a reason Tanya's pretty popular. She definitely established the character. There's no doubt about that. I think so. Yeah, I really awesome. do. How could I not like that question? I don't know. I didn't say you weren't <laughs> going to not like it. You said I was going to hate the... You... No, 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 that was the dog question. Re, re... That was oh, the that's dog right, question. you're right. It was the a hot dog, dog question. question. You're yeah. right. I take it back. Poor Maggie. <laughs> You've been torturing her this interview. That's a good dog. That was a good well, dog. Mr. Kukin. That's the hot seat for you. That's the hot seat? That's the hot seat. Jeez, I was waiting for it to get hot. Thank you for, uh, for joining us on the show. Thanks, any, man. Uh, any last things you want to say to the fans? Uh, no. Yes, he does. He lives. Oh, no, you can't. You can't kill this. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I hope this was fun. We'll Thanks, see you sir. next time on the hot seat. <laughs>